Miami on demand from Mid-American Conference Football Day in uh, Detroit at Ford Field. Steve Baker joined by senior linebacker Kent Kern from Toledo, Ohio. Uh, another fun day. You're a veteran of this. Uh, you, your second year in a row for this. Uh, uh, a lot of fun to come up and start talking about Miami football, right? Yeah, it's been a great experience so far. Being able to do this two years in a row has been awesome, and uh, just being able to pro promote Miami football is great. You come up here and you, and you see the stadium, and obviously the goal is obviously to get back up here. Uh, year two with Coach Martin, though, uh, you know, we just talked with him and, and talking about improvement on this team, and you, know, you see it uh, before you guys ever hit the football field. I know I got to see all the guys last week, and uh, everybody has been working so hard in the offseason, it seems like. Yeah, this offseason has been great. I mean, the type of numbers we've been putting up in the weight room are unlike anything I've seen since I've been here. The conditioning aspect of it is unreal. Just our conditioning test, everyone killed it with flying colors last week, and uh, I think everyone's really headed in the right direction going into camp. Uh, that's a big part of it, the conditioning and training, obviously. But you guys have also been working together, you know, as whether it's seven on seven or I guess eleven on eleven in some cases, just getting out there, improving uh, on your own. Coach talked about, uh, you know, you guys putting in that work, not only in the weight room but also on the field. I mean, yeah, three, four times a week we would get together just with the players and do seven on or eleven on eleven, and that was really great for us just to keep everyone mentally fresh with what we're doing on defense and offense respectively and it's an important thing because you can if you go a whole summer and you don't do things like that you have a big learning curve going into camp right now we're ready just to jump right in and get going day one tell us about the defensive unit obviously uh, you guys will be watching Q on Sunday uh, with the Packers and, and low out of there but uh, some shoes to fill but a lot of guys because of that work during the summer are stepping up yeah I, I think we have Plenty of guys that are ready to go to step in where, you know, Hendricks and Hugh left off last year and be their own players, make their own story, do their own thing. And I think that we have guys that are more than ready to do that this year. Senior year, what are you looking, first of all, to accomplish in camp and then throughout the season? I think camp, physically, I think we're pretty good right now. Camp's not a time to try to get better physically. I think it's a time where we really need to focus on learning the defense and knowing and understanding every little aspect of what we're trying to do, especially on defense, so that when we get out there week one against Presbyterian, there's no question about what's going on. We can just get out there, play fast, play hard every single play. Your role as a senior and kind of the quarterback on the defensive side, uh, uh, I know you took it very seriously a year ago. Does that uh, pressure maybe go up a little bit as a senior? You know, I don't, I don't know that I feel that pressure necessarily. I think just I don't try to force being a leader, you know, I just want to lead by my actions. I want to go out there and bring energy every single day. And as long as I do that, I know that things will work themselves out. And I think that as a team collectively this year, we have so much more leadership than we have in the past. And even with Hendricks leaving last year, he was a big leader. I think we've had a lot of guys step up and everyone's really pumped up and ready to go this season. Good to talk with you again, Kurt. Wish you the best, uh, Kent, uh, wish you the best of luck. And uh, let's go get them this year. Let's get them. Ken Kern joining us here on Miami On Demand.